guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here in this video I am prepping for my daughter Addison's third birthday party so I'm gonna be sharing with you some DIYs some party prep some sweet treats that I'm gonna be making and how I'm doing it and then the actual party of course so let's just hop right into it so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is working on some of these sweet treats that I had the idea for. So if you don't know, Addison decided she wanted a candy party and she also wanted a pink party. So I just sort of blended the two themes and I'm really excited about how it turned out. So to start, I'm going to make these Rice Krispie Treat popsicles. You know, at parties, popsicles or ice cream is so hard to serve because it melts so quickly. So I thought it'd be fun to stick with the sweet treat theme of candy and like all the sweet stuff and just make some things that look like popsicles and look like ice cream but are not actually going to melt so I'm gonna use some popsicle sticks some rice crispy treats I actually used some original and some strawberry because they were pink then I just got some melting candies I melted the chocolate and I'm gonna put a little bit on the end of the popsicle stick just to help it stay in the Rice Krispie really nice and sturdy. And then I'm gonna paint on a little bit of the melted chocolate and then sprinkle some sprinkles on top. And I'm gonna do that to a bunch of these and they turned out so cute and they were really yummy as well. So if this is your first time stumbling upon my channel, I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. I love posting motherhood and lifestyle content for you guys. I love doing parties and DIY stuff and just sharing all kinds of clothing hauls, anything related to motherhood, lifestyle. It's just so much fun for me. And so I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. So I love how these turned out. They were really simple to make. I thought they were so cute and really yummy as well, like I said before. So sticking with the same, mostly same ingredients, I'm just going to add in some pretzel rods. They're called rods, you can see them here on the package. And they're just the longer stick, basically. I'm going to paint on some more of that melted chocolate and then sprinkle some sprinkles on and I thought these would be really cute sticking out of some little jars kind of like at a little candy shop or like a sweet shop where you just have all kinds of little treats everywhere and I thought that sprucing them up with some chocolate and some sprinkles would make them super cute. Now sticking with the same ingredients of the melted chocolate and sprinkles, I'm going to paint some of that on the edge of these ice cream cones and then sprinkle with sprinkles. Again, I just thought it would make it so cute. I actually got some pink cotton candy and so I'm gonna stick cotton candy inside of these cones to serve it. And it will look like ice cream, but again, it's not gonna melt like ice cream. And just another cute little thing to do to add to the table. And Addison was really excited about the cotton candy as well. Now that all the treats are done, I'm going to start working on the backdrop for the little candy shop. So this is one of the easiest ways to make a backdrop and also very inexpensive. So I just got some of these crepe paper streamers from Hobby Lobby, but you can really get these anywhere. And I bought white, light pink, and hot pink, but I ended up deciding to just go with hot pink and light pink and do sort of thick stripes. So basically I'm measuring my window and how long I need it to be and then I'm going to start cutting all of my strips to start and then I'll begin hanging it up. Before the sun goes down 
So to hang all of these strips, the easiest way I find to do it is to take some painter's tape, flip it over to where the sticky side is facing out, and do that against the length of where you want your backdrop to be. And then I just did some vertical painter's tape strips to obviously attach it to the wall. But you can see there how I'm just placing them up there. That's because I have the sticky side facing out on the long horizontal piece. Hopefully that makes sense. So you can do this however you want, whatever kind of pattern you want for your theme. If you want to, you can just do like multicolor, but I wanted it to be like thick stripes. So I did like five of each color at a time so they would look like thick stripes. When I think of a candy shop and stuff, I just, something about stripes just sort of, I don't know goes with that theme to me. So anyway, my husband and my mother-in-law kicked me off the ladder. <laughs> they did not want me climbing on the ladder. So she hung all of those up for me. But I'll show you the finished product here in a little bit, but it turned out so cute. Next, I'm gonna make some little DIY balloon candies. So I just blew up some balloons, super simple. I got this clear, like colored, but you know, see-through paper from Michaels. They have this at Hobby Lobby, probably anywhere, but I liked the colors at Michaels. So I got the hot pink and then I got some that are like iridescent paper and I just put it around some pink balloons, tied it with ribbon on the ends, curled the ribbon on the ends, and there you go. It looks like you have some candies. So I was able to use these on both sides of the background for the table and then obviously at the top of the candy shops. So if you make a streamer backdrop like I just showed you, you will want something probably on the top of it just to make it look a little bit more finished off. So with these candy balloon things I'm making, I just used painter's tape on the back of them and stuck them all along the top of the uh, backdrop just to make it look like finished and go with the candy shop theme. I was just as blue-eyed as the sky could ever be. I ordered these candy bracelets off of Amazon and I thought it was really cute to put them on some acrylic jewelry organizers for the candy shop to have sitting there and I also ordered some candy necklaces but those were out for delivery during the party and actually showed up towards the end of the party so I never put them out because it was like too late at that point but I thought this was a really cute way to display the candy bracelets. And now I'm going to begin filling all of the candy jars over at the candy shop <laughs> with all of the different treats that I bought. So I tried to get mostly pink things, but I couldn't do everything all pink, so that's fine. But as you can see over there, I'll give a close-up shot in a little bit, but I found those cute little bags that are hanging on another jewelry organizer from Hobby Lobby. And they I loved the color pink, and they have a little zipper at the top. So I just used my Cricut to make all of the labels that's on them. And I thought that was a great way for people to be able to fill their bags with candy and take candy home with them, kind of as a little goodie bag. And then that way I wasn't stuck with all of the candy at the end of the party. Come through. This is your candy shop. Addison just woke up. Hey, I wish I would have recorded her reaction. What do you think, Addison? Well, say they want me. Will you like someone? With my basket with the uh, toys in it. Oh, oh it. it's put away right now. Addison's Candy Shop. Yep. I just want to hang up right I there. I wasn't wanting it. Okay. What's your favorite part of the candy shop? And this is full. You didn't notice something. This is full of what? candy. I know. You got it. Why? Yeah, it's full of candy. Mm -hmm. And I want the thing. Mom, can you know what time mm -hmm. it is now? It's just changing it. Oh, 629. But we actually got to set well, it to make it right. There's some water in here. Okay. Now it is the next morning, it is the day of the party, and I'm making a few more of these candy balloons. I realized I needed some more. So I'm making those, and if you see the long, skinny looking candies that I did as well, kind of the same way, I actually used poster board for the inside of those to make it look like a 
roll of Smarties or a Tootsie Roll or something like that. So I just used poster board and rolled it up into a cylinder and then wrapped it the exact same way with the same materials. And then also you'll see these tall lollipops. I just bought a foam circle from Hobby Lobby and then I cut the paper with my Cricut to make it look like a sucker and then I bought a dowel from Hobby Lobby as well and just stuck it in the bottom of the foam. And then again, I'm just wrapping it with this clear like, I don't even know what you call it, but this like wrapping paper stuff and tying it with the same ribbon to make it look like a sucker. Now I'm gonna set out some party favors. So I got these pink bowls at Target. They're like 50 cents a piece. I got the bath bombs, the lip gloss at Target, and then those pink necklaces from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm just going to set them each in a bowl and people can grab what they want. I wasn't exactly sure how many kids we were actually gonna have to make individual bags. So since I already had those pink goodie bags over on the candy shop table, I thought people could also just you know, kids could grab a bath bomb, some lip gloss, and a necklace and throw it in their little, little goodie bags with their candy. So anyway, I made this little sign. I got this acrylic frame from the dollar store for 99 cents. And then I used my Cricut with some vinyl to make the letters and I just stuck it on there. And I thought it was a fun way to do goodie bags. Normally I do individual bags, but uh, this, this worked out really nice. And by the end of it, we were left with almost no favors because all the kids stocked up on stuff. So that was great. Now I'm going to put some drinks in our drink bin that we'll have iced down. I just got a pack of pink lemonade honest kids pouches. I got some sparkling waters in pink of course. These are some of my favorite flavors. And then Steven brought in water bottles later and ice and iced those down for us. I also made pink lemonade in a beverage server but I didn't actually show that. So we had lots of different options of pink drinks for the pink party. Now I'm going to hang up some more of these little balloon candies up on the board. I used my Cricut as well to make the little oh so sweet Addison is three sign that I stuck on the board. Then I just used painter's tape to attach all of these to um, the board and it worked out just fine. I'm driving, you're smiling, just really doing nothing that's the thing I like about you. Mm. On the highway, it's our way, Route 66, and we keep on driving. We just do what we want to do, yeah. No, nothing's complicated. Now Brody is going to help me pop all of the popcorn for the party and he's always the best helper and loves to have a job to do and he did great so he was in charge of the popcorn. I got this cotton candy at Party City and I just put some in this acrylic bowl which is also from Party City and then this sat next to the ice cream cones that I also filled with cotton candy so there's sort of two different ways to serve it and just another way to not have to make like 50 million of those ice cream cones and then have to keep restocking them so we just sort of had two different options of ways of serving it. Now 
now it is time to get the birthday girl ready for her party. So I got her this cute little pink tutu dress from Amazon. It actually comes in multiple different color options. I love it so much and she's obsessed with like frilly dresses. I also got her this dress in an ivory color for our maternity family photos we did the next day. But anyways, I thought this dress was so cute. It matched her party perfectly. It looks like cotton candy to me. And then I got her those cute little clips you see there on the counter. It came in a set of three. It also came with a turquoise clip, but I got them from Walmart. And so I ended up, I was gonna do both of those colors and she did not like having two clips in her hair. So she picked the hot pink one and so we just did that and clipped the front of her hair back. It almost looked like little candy to me. So I thought it was really cute and loved having her hair curled and just, I don't know, my precious girl. Her with her little Converse high tops, so cute. And so that was her outfit for her candy party. Okay, my room's a disaster, but I'm ready for the party. Addison's out there playing, so stress is getting a little short. So here is the final product of Addison's candy party. I think it turned out so cute. I will link as much stuff in the description box below as I can. That hot pink gummy bear, blow up gummy bear is from Amazon. I will link all of this stuff that I can, her outfit as well. But I'm just so happy with it. It was so much fun to use my Cricut for this party since I just recently got it and learn how to use that a little bit more. I didn't show you all these cotton candies that I made, but it's faux cotton candy that I used some white cardstock for the base and then tool to make the cotton candy part. And then I did get Addison's little cake and cupcakes from Market Street. They did such a good job for Brody's party, but honestly this time I was super disappointed. I explained exactly what I wanted. I wanted hot pink with rainbow sprinkles and blush pink and they did like orangey red, coral, and purple. I mean they really did not do what I asked for. You can see the cake and the cupcakes don't even match, which in my opinion totally throws off the vibe, but uh, it's hard for me to get past things like that because I love everything to just like match perfectly but it is what it is and then these cute little cookies my mom actually made my mom's like loves making decorative cookies as like a little hobby and so I was thankful that she did that I know it's a lot of work and everything came together really nicely we just had a small group of family and close friends and it was so much fun and Addison had a blast Is it yummy? I like how she's holding it like a popsicle. She's taking it for mom. So beautiful. So pretty. How is it? Good. <laughs> Thanks for coming and welcoming, uh, celebrating Addison's. What birthday is this, Addison? Candy shop. Candy shop. <laughs> but it's your third birthday. Slow down. She's just shoveling in the candy bracelets. All right, we're going to bless it. Dear Lord, we thank you for this time. Thank you for all these people here, family and friends. We just thank you that we get to celebrate Addison Page and her third birthday. We pray that you'll make this a great year. And again, we thank you for all the relationships represented here. And uh, it's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 What are you eating? Candy. Candy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Addison. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Woo! Woo! Good job, Addison. Okay. I free right now. Want a cupcake? <laughs> what do you say? Mama, look, we're going to find you one. Look, we're going to find you one. Let's see it. I know. Barbie! Can you open this for me? Yeah, okay, open this. Can you help me? 
Look, Addy, it's a big house. Addy, a big house. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Good morning. It's the next day after Addison's party, and we had so much fun last night. Like, she had a blast. We had a small group of family and close friends, and it was so fun. And it's just cool. Me. Okay, then come over here, and he was supposed. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay, but anyway, she just. No thanks. I just want ice cream. You know, you need a Okay. All right. Sounds good. And then take it home. Okay, I'll be right there. So anyway, she, it's so cute that she's like, at, sure, that she's like at the age now where she like knows, okay, where she knows the party was for her and like she was just so excited opening her presents and doing happy birthday and all this stuff. So anyways, it was a great party. This is the current state of my house. We have party stuff everywhere. I always want ice cream. Let me show you. Look at all this stuff. Her Barbie dream house. Literally a zillion little bitty Barbie pieces everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, lots to clean up today. I'll be right there. She's always yelling at somebody. <laughs> but, um, okay, girl. Okay, No, you come over here to pet. Okay. Hi. Can I get some ice cream, please? Yeah, pink. Sure. Okay. With some rainbow sprinkles on top. Okay. He has some rainbow sprinkles on top. Perfect. And yes, she insisted on sleeping in these fleece pajamas last night. I tried to deter her, but... There was no changing her mind at 10.30 p.m. She was like, I have to wear the donut PJs. So, here she is. Oh, yummy. Thank you so much. How much does that cost? Two, buddy. Two? Here you go. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh, 